Hi guys, in this video I will create an hello world for web API 2.0 so let's start in under menu fi file we choose new project to create our new project under um, installed templates we choose templates visual C sharp and web we choose ASP.NET web application uh, we give a name for it hello world um, we don't want to create, we want to add and OK. Um, I want to create an empty, an empty application uh, under add folders and core references for we choose web API and hit OK. Now, now we have our project created. Um, I want, I want a web API to retrieve um, a list of, let's say, products. So first, I have to create a, a model that that represents the the product under models folder right click add a new class class uh, we give it a name product dot cs and add now we define the properties it will have um, an ID ID uh, prop tap tap string and a name we save it and for now it's cool I close it again um, under controllers we now uh, will create a new controller for this and uh, under controllers we right click choose add and controllers now uh, this window opens and I choose web api2 controller empty and add we give a name products controller and add um, I want to have a list of products um, an array so products array nah. Product array, 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 it don't know. I'm using a uh, 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 I'm using a hello world model here. Hello world model product equals two 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 I have a bunch of products that I created before here so f the first is milk cereals orange apple and water now I will create uh, I will create now two actions 
one to get all the products and the second to get uh, just one uh, getting by ID so the first getting all public um, I enumerable of products is the return time get all and I return just the the array the second where I can actually get a specific product it's a public i http action results and get 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 by id and it receives a parameter and an integer um that is the id so for products uh, in products I, I will change this name to be in plural products so our product is on get me in the Ah, sorry. Products got dot single or first or default where x x dot id is equals to our id parameter. If products is equal to null if no results we return a not 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 found here um, if we actually have um, a result we return okay okay with our products here okay run so let's see what what these do let oh no, no, no. set start project here what these do oh i don't i don't have the the full r the full address so I go here under this folder app start and inside this file web API config we have <coughs> sorry we have our uh, routes our routes defined so the default is API slash controller in our case is product products uh, slash id and this id is optional so let's let's try it so we start with api slash products products and it enter and tada and if we give it uh, an id uh, like 2 we receive orange or 4 water okay um but there is some magic here um let's i want a list of all products in uh, in the reverse order so 
uh, I have to stop this so to do that I have to create another action like I enumerable with of products where I get all reversed in the reversed order so I return in these uh, products reversed if I do nothing more and I run this let's see what what happens here API products and now we receive an error um, multiple actions found so we have to change we have to go here in app start and web api config and now i want to add a third parameter i have api controller slash and action and slash again now i have a third parameter is the action what is the action the action is the name actually is the name of each met method so if i run this again and api and <coughs> specify what I want uh, API slash product slash get all reversed <coughs> now we have what we want get all is normal <coughs> and the other one get by id get by id 2 orange okay well let's say that you don't like uh, you don't want to expose these names to the u to the end user of your web api so we have here a uh, custom attribute that is action name and we give it a name uh, all for this case the second I will gi give it a stupid name like ABC and yeah the third <coughs> um, gets by ID okay and if I run it again here I can now say API products all and it gives me this action. If I ask for the ABC action, it gives me the get all reversed. And by ID. Uh, let's see what happens. Oh, error. The ID eight doesn't exist serials for one okay this is it thanks for watching guys and see ya